Maxwell's free energy device now shipping worldwide. First U.S. user shocks everyone. The world watched in disbelief as a single man from Zimbabwe changed everything we thought we knew about energy. For years, experts called impossible a device that could generate power infinitely without fuel, without sunlight, without a single moving part. But now it's real. And for the first time in history, it's shipping worldwide. When the first American user unboxed Maxwell's free energy device, what happened next left scientists speechless and sent shockwaves to the global energy industry. The global launch that changed everything. It began quietly. No major press release. No flashy corporate event. Just a notification on Maxwell Innovation's website. Shipping now worldwide. Within minutes, pre-orders flooded in from over 70 countries. From engineers in Silicon Valley to villagers in rural India, everyone wanted one. The promise was simple. A small, portable unit capable of powering an entire home indefinitely. But it wasn't until the first unit reached the U.S. that the world truly paid attention. The first test in America. In a quiet suburb of Texas, a man named Ryan Bennett, an electrical engineer and longtime skeptic, received his device. Cameras were rolling. His plan? To test the claims in front of a live online audience. He placed a sleek black unit on his workbench, a compact box with no visible inputs, no cables, no batteries, just a faint hum that seemed to vibrate through the air. Ryan connected a light bulb, then a refrigerator, then an air conditioning unit. The readings on his power meter? Zero grid consumption. The devices ran flawlessly. His face went pale. Either this thing is from the future, he whispered, or everything we've been taught about power is about to change. The video spread like wildfire. Within 24 hours, it had over 50 million views. Experts struggled to explain it. Energy analysts scrambled to understand technology. Some claimed it used a breakthrough in radio frequency energy harvesting, capturing power from invisible waves in the environment. Others believed it tapped into the Earth's magnetic field itself. But one thing was undeniable. The results were consistent. Every verified user reported the same phenomenon. Devices running endlessly without plugging into the grid. Elon Musk, during a recent interview, was asked about Maxwell's invention. His response was surprisingly respectful. If this device is real, and for what I've seen it might be, then we're entering a new era. Energy will no longer be something we buy. It'll be something we own. A world reacts. Governments are now paying attention. Energy corporations are demanding regulation. But for millions of people living in power-scarce regions, especially across Africa, Asia, and Latin America, this technology represents freedom. Communities that once lived in darkness now light up entire villages using a single Maxwell unit. Schools are reopening after sunset. Hospitals are powering life-saving equipment. And water pumps are running day and night all without a single drop of fuel. But even as hope spreads, so does tension. Some fear that such technology could collapse trillion-dollar energy empires overnight. And yet, Maxwell remains calm. In his latest statement, he said only this, The era of dependence is over. The power of the universe belongs to everyone. The mystery deepens. Rumors are now spreading that the next version of Maxwell's device will be even smaller, capable of powering electric cars indefinitely. If true, it would render charging stations obsolete, making EVs truly self-sustaining. Meanwhile, the Texas experiment continues. Ryan Bennett has left his device running nonstop for over 30 days. No maintenance, no degradation, no noise, just clean, endless power. He posted a single update online last night. It hasn't stopped once. I think this is real. Global power strike back. Within weeks of Ryan Bennett's viral demonstration, Maxwell's free energy device became the center of the biggest geopolitical storm in modern history. Energy giants that had once seemed untouchable suddenly found themselves in panic mode. Stock prices plummeted. Oil demand forecasts collapsed overnight. In Washington, emergency meetings were held behind closed doors. The Department of Energy, the Pentagon, and the CIA, all demanding answers. How could one man's invention threaten an entire global infrastructure built over a century? 
The U.S. government officially called it an unverified technology of interest. But insiders leaked something far more telling. Teams of scientists were already attempting to replicate it, yet none could. Every attempt to reverse engineer Maxwell's device failed. It was as if the internal mechanisms were deliberately designed to be invisible, shielded, encoded, or operating on a principle no one had ever seen before. And then, something even stranger happened. The device goes dark. One night, Ryan Bennett reported a sudden flicker in his device's blue indicator light. For a moment, the power dropped to zero. Then it came back, stronger than before. But this time, the device began transmitting. His spectrum analyzer showed a faint signal, a pattern of electromagnetic pulses, repeating every 11 seconds. Experts who analyzed the recording said it resembled an encoded handshake, like the device was communicating. But with what? When journalists reached out to Maxwell for comment, he didn't deny it. Instead, he simply said, Energy is not just a resource. It's a language. And we're only beginning to understand what it's saying. The world erupted in speculation. Was the device drawing power from a universal frequency? Or was it interacting with something even more profound, a natural force embedded deep within the Earth's magnetic structure? Whatever it was, it had just awakened something humanity had never seen before. The global rollout continues. Despite the growing tension, Maxwell Innovations kept shipping units, thousands of them, to Europe, Asia, and South America. Videos poured in. A hospital in Kenya running entirely off a single device. A research station in Antarctica reporting zero failure, operation despite sub-zero temperatures. A village in the Philippines where residents danced under electric lights powered by nothing but air. The internet couldn't get enough. The hashtag, hashtag infinite power revolution trended worldwide for weeks. But in the background, whispers grew louder. Governments quietly restricting imports major ports holding shipments for inspection, and certain countries even banning public demonstrations. The technology had crossed a line. It wasn't just innovation anymore, it was liberation. And the powerful didn't like it. The mystery shipment. Then came the message. A leaked manifest from an undisclosed cargo vessel bound for California showed a massive container marked only with the initials MC. The weight? 14 tons. The contents? classified, but someone inside the Port Authority revealed the first image, a crate labeled Prototype A-12 Atmospheric Power Relay Unit. The internet exploded. Was this the next evolution of Maxwell's free energy device, one large enough to power an entire city? If true, the energy world was about to change again, a meeting that changed everything. A month later, Footage surfaced showing Elon Musk and Maxwell Chikambutso meeting in an undisclosed location in South Africa. The two men talked privately for hours, with no media allowed inside. But a few words were caught on camera as they exited. Musk, if this scales, we can power Mars. Maxwell, it already does. The clip went viral instantly. Within hours, analysts speculated that Tesla might be in negotiations to license Maxwell's energy system not for cars, but for off-world energy independence. It wasn't just about Earth anymore. This was about the cosmos, the energy that connects all things. As scientists dug deeper, something remarkable emerged. The frequency emitted by Maxwell's devices wasn't random. It resonated with a natural Schumann resonance frequency of the Earth itself, meaning the device didn't generate power. It synchronized with it. Essentially, Maxwell had found a way to tune into the invisible energy that surrounds and connects everything, from the atmosphere to the human body. If this was true, humanity had just stumbled upon a limitless, universal power source that had always been there, waiting to be unlocked. But while the public celebrated, the world's most powerful institutions were preparing their response. Because if Maxwell's technology continued spreading at this pace— Within five years, the global energy market, as we know it, would collapse. The power they couldn't stop. The world had reached a breaking point. Governments, energy corporations, and powerful elites had done everything they could to suppress Maxwell's invention. Bans, blackouts, disinformation campaigns. But the truth was already free. Despite the censorship, people kept sharing the blueprints, the circuits, and open-source instructions Maxwell 
released online before vanishing. Within weeks, underground workshops and garages across the globe began replicating his device and succeeding. From villages in Zimbabwe to small towns in Texas, homes started glowing with clean, limitless power. Cars ran indefinitely. Entire neighborhoods disconnected from the grid. Humanity had found a way to live without paying for energy. The world's power map had been rewritten, not by governments, but by ordinary people. The return of Maxwell. Then one morning, after months of silence, a live stream appeared on a blank channel titled Simply the Next Phase. There he was, Sangyalani Maxwell Chikambutso, standing before a massive structure gleaming under the African sun. Behind him, hundreds of small dome-like units shimmered in the heat, pulsing with faint blue light. This, Maxwell said calmly, is not a factory. It's a seed. He explained that these domes were autonomous energy cells, units that could replicate their own power fields and link together, forming a network capable of sustaining entire cities. No pollution, no noise, no charging, no grid. The age of extraction is over, he declared. The age of connection begins. At that moment, he pressed a small button. The domes lit up in perfect synchronization, humming softly. And as the camera zoomed out, the landscape below shimmered with power. Streetlights flickered on. Electric vehicles activated. Drones took flight. The entire valley came alive with radiant energy, powered purely by the air itself. The world responds. The world watched in silence and then erupted. Some called it divine intervention. Others called it the next industrial revolution. Within months, cities began adopting Maxwell's open-source technology. Nations that had once depended on oil exports shifted towards self-sustaining energy grids. Humanity entered a new era not one fueled by scarcity, but by abundance. And as energy became free, something else happened. The walls that separated nations began to fall. Innovation surged. Poverty rates plummeted. The sky, once thick with smoke, cleared. Maxwell's dream had become reality. Not a theory, not a rumor, but a global transformation. The final message. In his last public broadcast, Maxwell's words echoed across millions of screens. They try to hide the truth. They try to bury it. But you cannot bury energy. It lives in everything. And now it lives in all of you. The feed cut to black. But the world no longer needed to see him because his invention was everywhere. From the deserts of Africa to the skyscrapers of New York, invisible power pulsed through the air, connecting all humanity in a single, unstoppable current. And for the first time in history... The planet itself hummed with freedom.